Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 with a selection of submarines. Yes, part of the James Bond DLC pack has the Lotus Esprit, which there is a body kit to turn it into the submarine. Now, unfortunately, the submarine part of it doesn't work. You can't actually drive on the water. It'd be fun if you could, but uh, no, it's just more of a visual thing. It does make the car very wide, well, in that case terrifying, but uh, it does make the car very wide and a little bit difficult to park. However, uh, yeah, you can't, unfortunately, use it as a submarine, but what if we were to use it as a race car? And that is why we have got an entire group of 12 of them built to A-Class. No specific way that we are told to build them to A-Class. I've gone for race tyres and whatever power I could get in with race tyres, figuring that race tyres was probably going to be an important thing to have. I'm kind of going to end up building quite a few of my cars, potentially, as, um, yeah, sort of grip builds on this game from what we have seen, what we've seen so far, at least. And But other cars, things might go a little bit differently. We are going to be racing these in, well, maybe we'll do a couple in winter. That is the current season that we have going on. But uh, I think we'd ra I'd rather start off at least with a nice, a nice summer's race with our submarines. So, our first race has come to the Lakehurst Cops Circuit. I think that was what that said up there. I am going to be starting from kind of the middle of the pack. This fairly wiggly circuit, one of the longer laps outside of, you know, the Goliath and the sort of special events. It's one of the one of the longer laps that you will... That's probably the longest lap that you will find. However, it's yeah, an interesting mixture. You're going to want a little bit of speed for those straights. I'm not sure whether the full-on race tyre option here is going to work, but we will find out in the near future. Oh, let's not get the fins locked together. Oh, there's a random tree in the way. Now, uh, that's not so <laughs> helpful. Uh, it looks like there are a couple of much faster cars down the straights. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. I think someone's missed a checkpoint. It's got reset. It does look rather weird with the submarines going racing. I will say that much. I'm going to try and just bide my time for a little bit here while everyone is going a little bit mad up ahead. Uh, you may wonder why I'm playing from third person as opposed to normally from interior view. The interior on this car is really cool. Uh, however, there is a weird sound bug with the game and changing gears and I, I can't be dealing with it. <laughs> Basically, even if you put the clutch in, if you're changing gears quickly, even if you put the clutch in, you sometimes get a grindy sound and it's only from uh, cockpit view, not from bonnet view and so on. So it's a little bit, little bit peculiar. I'm going to avoid it because it annoys the crap out of me and it'll probably annoy you guys as well. Uh, hence why we're in third person at the moment. This is a good race so far. The battle of the submersibles. Oh, the pink and purple car have got together and I will say thank you very much for two positions. Now there's just... <laughs> oh, there's a big crash for the leaders. Well done, folks. My gear ratios are garbage. Uh, fifth gear is terrible. Every, all the other gears were fine, but fifth gear was awful. Uh, my, the race tires seem to be doing well on the on the sub. Oh, got a little bit too much speed into there. Now, as we come out of that corner, we've got to watch for... Is it a purple car? Actually, yeah. Uh, uh, not sure where Horde's car is most of the time, so there we go. In fact, the purple car, the blue car, and the leader's white car are all quicker than me down the straights, but we should reel them all back in when we get to this sort of section there. Rock! That one really will slow you down. That is not a rock that uh, that you want to have an argument with. Uh, we will be immediately closed back in. In fact, I've turned in too much and taken out all of the fencing through there. <laughs> well, I was going to say we're right on the bumper, but we're really not. We're on the uh, propellers of the car ahead. And there is strange terminology you must use when racing submarine cars around a race track. I would love to be able to race these, you know, submarine cars actually in the water, you know. It'd be good fun and all, but, uh, <laughs> like, a little sketchy, little scary. Uh, we have pulled away from the vehicles behind, at least. So, yeah, I am, of course, absolutely flying when we get to the corners. We get dropped a little bit. I've managed to... I've scratched one of the fins, goddammit. We can't be doing dealing with that. Yeah, problem is I can catch, and then I really struggle to find a way to get... Past here, we'll draw alongside. Oh, 
Okay, so you kind of ping off of cars if you do fin-to-fin -fin contact. You get <laughs> it's a little bit unhappy with that. Oh no, the blue car's going to come through. I think I'm going to get stuck sat behind again. I, I think I might actually be the faster car over the course of a lap. The problem is, is that it's very, very difficult to overtake. Oh, the rocks are pinging once more. Uh, can we go around the outside of someone? Or oh, duck back underneath here. Duck back underneath will work for me. I will say thank you very much for that position. We will then try and go chasing off after the leader. A little bit too much speed through there, but I've got more. I've got there's more speed I could use there. I just couldn't because there was a, another sub in the way. We're gonna duck underneath here. No, nope, we won't have the acceleration. It's gonna be a three, a three. Oh, fenced. <laughs> That's why you don't argue with the wooden bits of scenery. The wooden scenery can be quite mean. That's going to have a go up the inside. I've got the grip, but don't want to have a, I don't want to tangle and get pinged out into the distance. So we will back off that in the end. Worked out all right for me. Let's be neat and tidy through there. My gear ratios aren't quite what I'd like them to be. Working okay for my car at the moment. We've pulled a little bit of a gap. I need to keep that gap. I need to stop being overtaken when we get to a straight, basically. If I can break the toe, I think I can pull away at the front. It's probably not going to be this time around, although they're going to have to go a long way around and they won't hold that flat out, considering they're <laughs> struggling flat out on the inside around the outside of another car. Unlikely to be held flat, and then we will carry the speed here. This time around, I have got no vehicles in front of me slowing down my full-on grip mobile. Uh, we have actually pulled a nice little gap to the vehicle behind. There's one more lap to go. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking my sub. I think my my sub was a good call, especially considering this is probably one of the faster tracks that we will see. This is one of the faster circuits we'll go to. I think this was a uh, was a good a good build, a good way to go with the orange with the orange sub. No one, I don't think anyone with the yellow. Uh, sub, which is a little bit of a missed opportunity, but there, well, no, tell a lie. There was a SpongeBob one that was technically yellow, but we don't really talk about that too much. Uh, can we hold on for the remainder of this race? I think, provided I don't bin it in a wall, provided I don't do anything alarmingly stupid, we should be good because this is where my car is weakest, quickly followed by the bits where my car is strongest as we now transition into the uh, twisty part and we are a second and a half down the road without a massive screw up by me it's bouncing through these next couple of corners it, it looks weird driving this thing of course actual driving wise very little different to a normal car you know it's it handles exactly like them it might have wobbly aero bits going on on the side or wobbly fins going on whatever you want to call them on the side of the vehicle that's a really yeah, no, that really makes much difference to the actual vehicle driving dynamics I will take a victory in the first ever submarine race. Did not get fastest lap. Uh, <laughs> Pega and Horde's cars were both faster than mine. Uh, fairly, fairly similar lap times from some of the cars further down. Kiak Invisible AKs in the uh, the 109s. Yeah, not quite the fastest car out there, but was able at least to be consistent. And yeah, once I got to the front, was was pretty much sorted. So, our next race has come to the Broadway Village Circuit. I believe this is a, an, another interesting one. I mean, it looks like there are more straights, however, it's not a massively, massively long circuit. I'm starting from second on the grid. That is what we like to see. I mean, potentially, all things might go wrong. The fins on our cars might get connected or something silly like that, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I have had the AI... This is the only circuit I've had the AI get really confused on. One of the races I had AI get stuck outside of the barrier at turn one for some reason. Uh, don't know how they did it. But uh, we had jelly cars race around here and the AI were okay with that. Well, ish. Uh, however, yeah, they got a random car stuck outside the barrier. I'm hoping not to get my... My Esprit stuck outside of the barrier. Nine Tails has definitely got way, way, way more speed than me. We saw off that line the speed at which the Red Esprit has uh, fired itself. Whoa! I'm going to have way more grip, better brakes. I'll go for that dive up the inside. We will 
slice apart a sign with the fins on the vehicle. Uh, we're going to have a car, I wouldn't think, they're going to have the grip to fire up the inside. They don't really need to, though. Although <laughs> it's a long way back, struggling with that grip. But, oh, there's a blue car, very lost. I think the collisions, sort of side-to-side -side collisions with these are a little bit strange, let's be honest. I mean, it's a bit of fun. It is, at the end of the day, a bit of fun. The Esprit, I'm glad to see the body kit as an option, as something that you can put on it, but it's perhaps you're not so surprising that uh, collisions and whatnot do get a touch glitchy on the car. Uh, we are managing to hold this lead once again pretty well. I love that the... <laughs> we just only just noticed it. I know it's taken me a while to notice it. While the fins are going as you're heading around the corner. Christ, it looks manic behind me. That looks like a very, very hectic group. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the fins are going while you turn corners a little bit. I love that they pop up when you jump on the brakes. It's like the strangest air brake in history. I mean, I know like the McLaren Senna and the uh, GTA Spano have got some pretty impressive air brakes when they try to slow down, but I think this is the most like, visually spectacular in many ways. I'm kind of sad I'm not in the big fight further back, I'll be honest. Uh, oh, God, I'm in the wall. Don't do that, you muppet. Yeah, kind of kind of a little a little sad sometimes when you get to the front of the race. We've seen this a few times. It's good in terms of winning a race. And again, my car is working pretty damn well. But it does mean you have a little bit more of a lonely race as there's another slidey, drifty spring going on behind. Yeah, when you chuck all the power on... Like I, I built this car up a couple of different ways before settling on going for the race tyres. You can chuck in quite a lot of power, in fact, in this car and keep it in A-Class. But, problem is, doesn't really handle, like, at all. So... I've, yeah, gone for... I say you can chuck in a lot of power. I've still got 280 horsepower in this on race tyres. It's actually not... That's not a bad amount of power to have in a... In an A-Class car and race tyres. That is a pretty damn light car as well. Okay, admittedly, submarine bits aside. So... <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's that, got that corner there, all sorts of wrong. I'm going exploring as I'm pushing my spree. We're going to have a slice. I just don't bother with that side, Eddie. Just leave it. It's not worth it. Every lap I've sliced it, or at least the cars behind have ploughed into it. I mean, that, that roundabout side on the inside, that's okay. No one's going to turn, turn in that early. They're going to miss the corner. So that's, you know, that's absolutely fine. Wow, <laughs> we, are, we are running away a little bit with this one. We are running away with our excellent submarine Lotus here. Uh, last time around, this is a, I haven't found one, any of the lap circuits that I don't like. They've all been, they've all been pretty, pretty damn solid. There's some cross country ones that are a little bit funky, but that's kind of to be expected with a, an event like cross country. Yeah, all of these lap circuits have been excellent, excellent fun to drive. And as I said before, if anything. There is a lack of outright speed places for, well, for the cars. I've not chopped the signpost over this time. The hordes went into the fence, I think. <laughs> Too much speed. Not enough for slowing down there. One final corner for the orange submarine. And we will run to the finish line. I would hope we'd have got fastest lap there. I feel like we might well have done. There was some chaos behind us for a little while. And then, oh, we did not get fastest lap. Impeya and Glitzcore would get slightly faster laps than us, uh, but not by a huge amount. Again, get to the front, stay out of trouble, stay consistent, will work nicely for, <laughs> for my fully handling built sub. So we have head to the Bam Bambara? Coast Circuit, I think that's how it's pronounced, not actually sure, uh, where we're going to be racing in the snow. I figured we'd go for a, a snowy environment on this one. Interesting circuit, again, another interesting track. There are a couple of places where my sub is going to struggle. There are a couple of places where the handling of my car will hopefully come in pretty, pretty, pretty useful. Uh, we will have to wait and see as we head through this first quarter. Oh, let's I mean, we ate a railing. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse in all of that. We're now going to uh, be uh, trying to... Oh, that's not a place. I'm very sorry. 
Very sorry indeed. I think a little oh, a little brush with the wall was enough to fire that car across in front. And once it's, well, coming across the road, not much I can do on that one. I do apologise for the firing off the circuit, but there we go. That's sometimes how things end up, uh, end up going. In terms of the differences between, well, this winter race and the other ones, uh, we're probably not going to see a huge... I mean, this is effectively like just driving on a wet circuit. I mean, the only difference we might see is if you go off the track, you're then going to struggle with, like, massively struggle with grip. Otherwise, we're probably not going to really see too much in the way of difference. Although, that is something that I'm going to be looking at in a, a more depth in a later investigation. We've had a very, very good run through this first section. We might be able to have at least a fight for second. Looks like the leader's car is working very well around here. Uh, I don't think I've got an answer to that. Judging the speed, it's buggered off at the front and I've not been in traffic. There's not been anything the problem with my car, if you like, here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much about <laughs> catching a pegger. But I might be able to get second. We might be able to get second. We've not got the straight line speed, no, but we are going to be, hopefully, much better through these corners and it's much easier for me to uh, position my car where I want to, less likely to make mistakes theoretically with mine as we clobber the, uh, what's it called, the little banner thing. I fear I'm going to be at that awkward distance whereby we'll close massively, let's say like through turn one and turn two if we don't go up onto two wheels or like that, you know, we'll close through here and we'll just be within range and then we'll get to another straight and then we'll just be in range as we get to another straight and <laughs> we might be stuck in this uh, perennial close but not quite close enough because here for an example this well maybe in a really high powered car considering most of these will be probably running around the well if you're on race tires you're running around the 300 horsepower mark if you're not you may be running 450 or something it's not likely to give it massive troubles with being a flat out acceleration zone um, so I can't really gain much there. I've actually been out of position through all of this, trying to, just trying to make that little bit more time, and it's not worked. We've actually lost a chunk through all of that bugger. I don't want to hit the kerb in the first corner. I've been up on two wheels already. Could probably, well, maybe not this car. Probably not make this car roll, you know, account of the giant fins along the side of it. But you could probably make a car roll through there if it was uh, the right weather conditions. Oh, that's, that actually has a really, really good corner. The pink sub has had a little bit of a uh, wide moment. But again, like we can catch. Uh, we Oh, I say we can catch. We are now second. Oh, there's a missed checkpoint. <laughs> oh, you got a lap. I mean, you may well, the Pega may well get me, but you got a lap to try and. Uh, catch up to the leader. I'm trying to be as neat and tidy as I can through here. Make the most of my Esprit's grip. It's not gonna, it's probably not gonna be enough. I suspect we're going to get eviscerated down this straight. Don't think I got much of a chance, although we might be able to make it awkward at least through these first quarters. Hell, there may be more missed checkpoints. Uh, going on. There's a big two-wheel moment for the leader, taking out the fences as well. I'm, tr I'm trying to be careful, and I'm, I'm not even sure the careful route has actually got me much time advantage there. Uh, in fact, I'm going to end up out wide, almost almost in the wall, almost in the fence. Uh, where is that white car behind us? It's close. Are they going to be close enough? This might, uh, this might be an interesting final corner. Probably not for me taking victory, it's whether I can, no, probably not hold on to third. It'd have to be an almighty dive, that's got a lot of speed. I mean, we are going to go for it, of course, it's the final lap of the race. We're going to fight for every position that we can. The problem is, unless I get a mega amount of speed through here, it won't matter. Oh, it's the drag race, it's the drag race towards the finish. Couldn't do anything about catching the pink car, and I don't think... I can do anything about holding on. I mean, we had a huge dive, but ultimately, not enough. <laughs> God damn. It was a good fight for second in the end. I imagine fairly similarly matched in terms of... Well, kind of similarly matched in terms of... Like, Pegasus car was the fastest. I think I got a pretty good lap on that final run, but uh, I couldn't do much more. Couldn't do much more than that with the car. 
still, still, it was a good fun race with unusual submarine cars. So, for our final race, we have come to Edinburgh itself for one of the street circuits around here. I am starting from the back. This should be fun for me <laughs> to try and work our way through the pack. Uh, the track should suit my car, I guess, relatively well. I mean, it's not going to have the, the power for the acceleration zones, but it should have some more grip when it comes to the more technical parts. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far my car's worked pretty well everywhere. It's worked, it's worked fairly well, fairly well everywhere, so let's hope that that will continue when we come to a fairly nasty, oh, fairly nasty street circuit. There was a lot of uh, fins getting caught on, uh, on each other through turn one. Oh, I kind of want to try and find a way past it, because I want to miss the checkpoint in all of that. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit busy on the way through here. Not actually very much that I can do. I've got a quick. Oh, sorry. I don't know how on earth the car stopped accelerating. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a vehicle stopping accelerating directly in front of you. I mean, there is only so much that uh, that you can do to avoid that one. Uh, this. Oh, I know this circuit. I remember. I remember driving this track. My gear ratios are quite annoying. I think I could probably do with. I could have done with uh, sorting them out perhaps on this car. Uh, second and third are well. Not quite, quite right for my liking, perhaps. Let's try and avoid hitting the flying bits of, uh, of street furniture. There's like some two white going on up ahead. Otherwise, there's a big old line of cars. I don't want to turn in too soon. I'm trying to go have a sneak. No, maybe not quite. Around the outside. Ooh, it's very easy. Very easy. Ooh, to misjudge where your vehicle is and get in a lot of trouble. So, I say surprisingly. Maybe that's the wrong... The wrong word for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so used to. I mean, in some ways, I'm kind of glad I'm not in first person. I'm not in first person. In first person, you could actually be quite difficult to see or to judge the width because you've got what you expect to be the width of the car plus a good chunk from the from the little side fins. Oh, yeah, ping off of that wall. And yeah, it is easy to push the car that little bit too much. I've had a horrendously scruffy lap. What should be a pretty good circuit for this car. Things are not going according to plan, particularly. Now, we've got some clean air. No excuse. There's no cars in the way. There's no traffic. Uh, there is some cars crashing into turn one again. But uh, that's well uh, well up ahead of us. We should be good to run them. Oh, my gearbox. It's terrible. I should have spent PI on sorting that out. This is yeah, not a fun circuit for that. I'm spotting a uh, submarine up on two wheels, and that's a weird sentence to say, but it's a very true one on that particular corner. <laughs> there are many strange sentences said when doing this sort of stuff. In fact, with a lot of racing on Horizon 4, there are some strange, strange sentences to be to be said. They're going to run right out towards the building. And this lap here has, has certainly, certainly been better for me. We've got a couple more laps to potentially look at moving further up the leaderboard here. Am I going to be able to have a look into turn one? I don't think so. It looks like the leaders were vying for position up there. It's a big battle for the lead. Four car battle for the lead. So it's going to be a three car battle for fifth. Potentially. Can I get this move to stick around the outside? Or oh, just <laughs> some missed checkpoints going on there, that will get me the fifth place, as I'm going to run it in very, very deep through this next corner. Don't hit the traffic light on the outside. The amount of momentum lost from that is a right pain, something that's been annoying throughout this race for me. I've not had the greatest of luck at dodging that. Either way, we are through, but I think we're going to be too far back, and I don't actually think I've been going particularly well around here with this with this car, whether it be me, whether it be the car not suited, probably a little, perhaps a little bit of both. I've uh, just not been able to... The gearbox is not helping me uh, that much is for sure. I don't know whether I'm driving it wonky or something. We'll go for an extra wide line out of there. Oop, take out a lamppost. Everyone else is uh, doing a similar thing. They're still battling up ahead side by side into turn one. So I've just got one more lap to go to not do anything stupid and let the vehicle behind me catch up. I mean, it'd be nice if... So it'd be nice if someone happens to miss a checkpoint. I wouldn't... I wouldn't pass up a free position, however, it doesn't look like 
it's going to be happening. God, that bloody traffic light. <laughs> Tried going that little bit wide to see if that worked. I think I've actually got a pretty good start to this lap, although I imagine immensely helped by the leaders fighting two and three wide everywhere. Uh, we're going to... Oh, let's scrape the wall there again like a numpty too many times. Too many times have I got in trouble there. We can be flat through the, I guess, penultimate corner. Around the final turn we go. Just jump on the throttle. It's going to be a really close finish at the front. The top four covered by tiny fractions in that. I will have to settle for a fifth. Would get fastest lap the race. Uh, yes, I would, actually. 57 a 56.5, sorry for a miserable AK, but I got a 56.4. Admittedly, the top guys were busy fighting one another, which is going to slow you down a fair bit. I will, I will take that. I will, I will take, finally, getting a fastest lap of the race. I think we will possibly have leveled up something. Oh, not quite. We do have a couple of wheel spins from earlier races where I got, uh, got level ups. So we can see if I... Continue my terrible luck. Filmed wheel spins seems to have done okay. Streamed wheel spins seems to have done pretty badly, although we did have one good day. And off-camera ones have been uh, mediocre. But <laughs> basically, we have got we have got two. Let's go and give these a quick try before we end the video and hope for an actual car rather than boring, boring clothes. It is boring, boring clothes. Oh, quarter of a million would have been nice. But no, boring clothes. Come on, car. There are two wheel spins, so let's hope for... Nope, that is, that is a terrible pair of wheel spins, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not worth filming those. That is going to be it for the submarine racing. Difficult things to drive on the street circuit, as you can imagine, with the extra width of the car. Occasionally interesting collision physics between them generally just a fun sight seeing a bunch of submarines going racing around edinburgh street circuit that that's gonna be it for this video thank you very much for watching and until next time a uh, goodbye